Hello all, this is one more question from Gate Metallurgy 2021. The question says, a single crystal aluminium sample is subjected to uniaxial tension along 112 direction. If the applied tensile stress is 100 MPa and the CRSS, critical resolved shear stress, is 25 MPa, which one of the following systems will be activated? And we have different uh, slip systems out of which you need to choose the correct answer. So how to go about this question? So before going directly to the question, let's try to understand uh, a bit about CRSS. In order to calculate CRSS, we have something called as Schmidt's law. Okay. So Schmidt's law allows us to actually calculate the CRSS. So what Schmidt's law say, let's say you have a single crystal, something like this. Okay. A cylindrical shaped single crystal is uh, considered and you have a slip plane like this uh, along some angle okay and this is the loading axis okay let's say the load is applied like this now you can see of course we know that slip always will take place along the slip direction on a slip plane so i told you this is the uh, slip plane and uh, let's say this is my slip direction okay Similarly, slip plane is designated by its plane normal, any plane for that matter. So let me also take the slip plane normal, something like this. So we know that because of this inclination of the slip plane, the total component of the load that you apply is not going to help for the slip. There would be some components that you need to take for that matter we'll be actually choosing the angles right so let the angle between the loading axis and the slip direction be lambda and the angle between the plane normal and the loading axis is phi okay so from here you can easily uh, get crss tau is nothing but you will get sigma cos phi cos lambda what is sigma sigma is nothing but the stress that you are applying here so due to this you get sigma right which is p by a okay so let's say this is the area a naught okay this is what you will be getting if you take the uh, components over it and do basic trigonometry operations right now this is a crss value for a given plane which has orientation with the angles phi and lambda respectively as i have showed in the figure now what is crss what is the definition of crss crss the critical resolved shear stress the word critical itself says that this is kind of a threshold value this is a threshold stress that is needed or you can say the minimum stress that you need on a particular slip system in order to slip to take place okay now in what cases slip will not take place very simple when the crss is zero okay if the crss is zero there won't be any slip but one more thing it is not uh, you know mandatory that only few slip systems will be activated there can be competition between different slip system and how you decide which one will be activated first for that matter we need to actually consider the factor cos phi into cos lambda so we call it a schmidt's factor okay so we call schmidt's factor and it is represented by m which is equal to cos phi into cos lambda okay you can see if m equal to 0 there won't be any slip that means it will lead to a brittle fracture okay and what they're asking they're asking about the activation of slip system that slip system will be activated which has highest value of m okay what did i say the activation will be easy for the slip systems which have higher values of m okay now what you need to do just calculate m here so here we know that the loading axis is given as 
one one two and the slip system itself is given as oh that's what you need to find out okay now we know that crss is given as 25 and applied is given as 100 so now carefully if you observe if you just put it over here we can write 100 is equal to or sorry 25 is equal to 100 into m okay and as i uh, told you this has to be the minimum value 25 has to be the minimum value so now what you need to do just calculate m it should be 1 by 4 so that my slip will be activated so for that you just need to calculate m over here and this is the minimum value of m as i told you okay now so how to go about so we know what is cos theta formula so if you have h1 k1 l1 and uh, h2 k2 l2 how to calculate the angle between them is very simple right just the dot product h1 h2 plus k1 k2 plus l1 l2 divided by the magnitude h1 square plus k1 square plus l1 square into root of h2 square plus k2 square plus l2 square so this is how you need to calculate cos phi values and cos lambda values and finally the values of m now one more easy uh, way to verify is just to see the dot product individually i can see here that the dot product is actually uh, zero in many cases what are those so if you carefully see one bar one zero and one one zero the dot product is zero that means the cos uh, lambda is zero so m will be zero similarly here if you see one 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 bar so one plus one minus two there also m is zero similarly here also m is zero therefore just by looking at it i can say that a is the correct answer but yes i wanted you to calculate the value of m and see all these you will be getting n is equal to zero okay so how i am telling just by looking at the dot product okay so this is the concept of crss and how you need to apply in this particular question so that's it for uh, this question guys thank you